Good evening, everybody, and uh, it's great to have such an audience this evening for our School of Agriculture and Food Science Awards Ceremony. Our ceremony is usually held in a, a big auditorium here in UCD. Um, we have a great turnout of family and friends and parents and supporters for our fantastic uh, award winners. Unfortunately, the events this year have conspired against it. Uh, the weather in us is usually poor in November and people travel long distances the length and breadth of the country. Uh, so maybe one of the upsides is that you're, you're spared a journey in the winter evening to Belfield. Nonetheless, it's a great ceremony for us to have in our school. Um, we have uh, 39 awards being given out this evening. The awards comprise medals, certificates, and also monetary awards. Some of our awards are very old, and some of our awards are much newer. And many of them are sponsored by members of our community, from companies and families and from individuals, and we're really grateful for that. Uh, the total value of the awards is around about 21,000 euros. Whilst we're recognizing 39 awardees this evening, uh, the school has a number of other very high achieving students, and they will have received Ad Astra Scholars, Ad Astra Elite Athletes, and they'll also be University Scholars, and they'll receive their awards at a number of other events. Our aspiration is to take in the best students and to turn out uh, the finest graduates from UCD. They become the leaders, they become um, the people who make a difference in our industry and uh, some of the people that you're going to meet this evening are those people of the future and we're very proud of them. We also have a, a great presentation later on from our guest speaker whom I will introduce in a moment but we're going to start this evening's uh, presentation with Professor Anya Niduan, Associate Dean for Teaching and Learning, who's going to introduce the first groups of awards and prizes. Thanks, Alex. Now, our first award tonight is the AIB Best in Class Award. AIB is UCD's campus banking partner, and it makes annual awards to recognize excellence in our food and agribusiness management and our dairy business programs. The award comprises of a monetary prize and is presented annually to the students who achieve the highest final GPA in food and agribusiness management and dairy business who graduated this summer. The AIB Best in Class recipient for food and agribusiness management is Cloda Dolan. The AIB Best in Class for dairy business is Owen Heffernan. The next award is the Agricultural Economic Society of Ireland Award. The Agricultural Economic Society of Ireland makes an annual award to recognise the long-standing relationship between the society and the graduates of Agricultural Economics and Food and Agribusiness Management at UCD. The award consists of a medal and a monetary prize. It is presented annually to the Food and Agribusiness Management student who having passed the Bachelor of Agricultural Science degree examination in toto at the first attempt, obtains the highest aggregate grades in the stage four modules, farm business management and agricultural policy. The recipient of the award tonight is Thomas O'Brien. Our next prize is the Danone Nutritia Early Life Nutrition Human Nutrition Medal. Danone sponsor an annual award to recognize a student in the Human Nutrition Degree Program. The award consists of a silver medal and is awarded to the undergraduate student with the highest overall grade in the Human Nutrition Research Project in Stage 4. The recipient of the award tonight is Grace Doherty. Our next award is the FBD Trust Health and Safety Awards. The FBD Trust sponsor three monetary awards to champion health and safety in agriculture, food and nutrition, and to demonstrate best practice and strive for excellence in this area. All stage two students in the School of Agriculture and Food Science must complete the module entitled Health, Welfare and Safety in Agriculture. And the award is to the three best students based on a combination of their mark attained and a subsequent interview. 
Students who receive this award must champion health and safety for the following year until the next awards are granted. The recipients of these three awards tonight are Robin Shorten, Mark Brady and Kira McAteer. Our next prize is the Fertiliser Association of Ireland Soil Science Award. The Fertiliser Association of Ireland Award is presented to the student who obtains the highest grade in the module Soil Science Basics in Stage 2 of the Bachelor of Agricultural Science degree programme. The award consists of a monetary prize and the recipient of the award this year is Connor Kyo. Our next award is the Glonbia Human Nutrition Medal. Glonbia PLC sponsor an annual award to recognise a student in the Human Nutrition degree programme. The award consists of a silver medal and is awarded to the undergraduate student with the highest overall GPA in Stage 2 of the Human Nutrition degree programme. And the recipient of the award tonight is Leah Sagot. Our next group of awards is the Grant Thornton Awards in Financial Planning and Control. Grant Thornton has provided work placements over several years for students undertaking the Professional Work Experience Programme as part of the Food and Agribusiness Management degree programme. The positive experience of Grant Thornton has resulted in their commitment to provide monetary awards to the best students completing the module on Financial Planning and Control. They have provided first, second and third place awards to the eligible students with the highest overall grade in the module. The recipients of the prizes tonight are Emma Young, first place, Helen Hoynes, second place, and Thaig Martha, third place. The next award is the Hussey Prize in Agribusiness. This award was established on the retirement of the late F.P. Hussey in appreciation of his years of service to UCD. The Hussey Prize in Agribusiness is awarded annually to the Food and Agribusiness Management student who obtains the highest aggregate grades in the modules International Food Marketing and Food and Agribusiness Strategy in the Stage 4 University Examination in Agricultural Science. The award consists of a monetary prize and the recipient tonight is David Wilson. Our next award is the Ian Gordon Award. Ian Gordon was a professor of animal science in UCD and was a pioneer in many reproductive technologies of farm animals, including his work on embryo production at the UCD Lions Farm. As well as being a prolific author of research papers and textbooks, he was passionate about his subject as a teacher. The Ian Gordon Award which is in the form of a medal, is presented annually to the student who obtains the highest grade in the module Annual Reproduction in the Stage 3 Examination in Agricultural Science, having passed the examination. And the recipient of the award tonight is Cian Minogue. The next award tonight is the Institute of Biology of Ireland, Professor Michael Hennerty Memorial Prize and Medal. The award was established in recognition of the work, commitment and dedication to the Institute of Biology of Ireland by the late Professor Michael Hennerty, UCD Professor of Horticulture. The award is presented annually to the undergraduate student with the highest overall GPA in the Horticulture, Landscape and Sports Turf Management degree programme. The award comprises a medal and a monetary prize and the recipient of the award tonight is Erin Taylor. Our next award is the KEPAC Best in Class Award, Animal Science and Food Science. The KEPAC Group sponsored the Best in Class Award in Animal Science and in Food Science for graduating final year, stage four, students in the Animal Science and Food Science programmes. For the Animal Science programme, the recipient of the award tonight is John O'Grady. And for the Food Science programme, the recipient of the award is Niall Durkin. Our next award is the Kerry Human Nutrition Medal. The Kerry Group sponsor an annual award in the Human Nutrition Degree Programme. The award consists of a silver medal 
and is awarded to the undergraduate student with the highest final GPA in the Human Nutrition Degree Programme. And the recipient of the award tonight is Grace Doherty. Our next award is the Nutritia Human Nutrition Medal. Nutritia sponsor an annual award in the Human Nutrition Degree Programme. The award consists of a silver medal and is awarded to the undergraduate student with the highest overall performance in clinical nutrition in stage four of the Human Nutrition Degree Programme. And the recipient of the award tonight is Maeve Lane. Our next award is the Patty O'Keefe Dairy Business Project Award. This award is given in memory of Mr. Patty O'Keefe, who was the editor of the Irish Farmers Journal for 37 years and who made an outstanding contribution through many endeavours to Irish agriculture during his lifetime. The Paddy O'Keefe Dairy Business Project Award is in recognition of Paddy O'Keefe's dedication to agricultural education and grass-based dairy production. It is awarded to the student that completes the best dairy business project which is undertaken in the third year of the Dairy Business Programme. The award consists of a medal and a monetary prize and the recipient of the award this year is John Mahan. Our next award is the Patrick Dempsey Memorial Prize. The prize is provided by the family of the late Mr Patrick Dempsey who lectured in the UCD Department of Horticulture from 1970 to 1985. The prize is awarded annually to the student who obtains the highest grade in the module Landscape Trees and Shrubs and who also reaches a sufficiently high standard in the Stage 3 University Examination in Agricultural Science and it comprises a monetary prize. And the recipient of the award tonight is Ewing B. Our next award is the Patrick Hogan Memorial Scholarship. This award is made annually to commemorate Patrick Hogan, the First Minister for Agriculture in the Irish Free State. The award is made to the student who achieves the highest grades on the results of all their Stage 3 university examinations in agricultural science. The award consists of a monetary prize. And the recipient of the award tonight is Maria Byrne. Our next award is the Paul Mulher Award. This award was established in memory of the late Mr. Paul Mulher, a member of staff in the former Faculty of Agriculture who died following an injury sustained during a hurling match at Crow Park in November 1985. The award is presented annually to the Stage 3 Animal and Crop Production student who achieves a distinction grade in the Professional Work Experience module and achieves the most outstanding performance while on Professional Work Experience. The award consists of a medal and a monetary prize and the recipient of the award tonight is Andrew Hanbidge. Our next award is the Chagas Dennis Minogue Memorial Award. Chagas sponsors an award in memory of Mr Dennis Minogue. His family wished that an award would be created in his memory that would reflect Dennis's deep interest in agricultural science and innovation as reflected in his studies in UCD and his doctoral studies in Moor Park. The award comprises a monetary award and a silver medal. It is awarded to the student registered to either the Masters in Agricultural Science in Agricultural Innovation Support or the Masters in Agricultural Science in Agricultural Extension and Innovation who delivers the most innovative project as part of their examination of Irish farming and advisory service practices. The recipient of the award tonight is Blair Elizabeth Ruffing. That concludes this section of the awards ceremony. I would also like to congratulate all of our scholars and acknowledge the support of all of our sponsors and all of our other supporters. Okay, Anya, that's wonderful. Thank you very much for reading out all those names, giving out all those medals and certificates. Uh, really great to see the, see the students there and uh, to celebrate their achievements. Uh, the next section of our uh, ceremony this evening recognizes students who have professional work experience excellence awards. 
The school has been running its PWE programs for at least 60 years, and they're varied across the different programs that we have, um, and they run at different times of the year. This year, I think, has been exceptional because uh, many of our students were on their practical work experience in the March to August period in 2020, when we know that the coronavirus uh, challenges really uh, put them to the pin of their collar. Nonetheless, we have uh, had some uh, excellent students complete their PWE. They've had a fabulous learning experience, and we want to recognize them uh, with an award this evening. So uh, I'd like to introduce Dr. Sinead Flannery now to introduce the PWE Excellence Awards. Thanks, Alex. So this evening, 14 students will be receiving certificates and six of these students will also be receiving monetary awards for excellence from four very generous sponsors tonight. The first award is the Agricultural Consultants Association PWE Excellence Award. Sponsorship of this award by the Agricultural Consultants Association will support the training and education of the future generation of agricultural consultants. The Agricultural Consultants Association is the largest professional advisory system in the country, providing a full range of technical and agribusiness services to 55,000 farmers nationally. And the recipient of this award is Andrew Hanbridge. The second award is the Agricultural Trust PWE Excellence Award. The Agricultural Trust was set up by the then farmer owner of the Farmer's Journal, John Mooney in the 1960s. Over the years, many research projects and scholarships have benefited our students and graduates, with recent examples being this PWE award and the annual Nuffield scholarships. And the recipient of this award is Emma Riley. The next award is the Carberry Human Nutrition Placement Medal. Carberry Group sponsor an annual award to recognize a student in the Human Nutrition degree program. The award consists of a silver medal and is awarded to the undergraduate student with the highest overall grade in the Human Nutrition Professional Work Experience module. And the recipient of this award is Shivra Dooley. The next award is the Grant Thornton PWE Excellence Award and there are two monetary awards within this category. Grant Thornton's dedicated food and agribusiness team assists businesses and entrepreneurs in turning the challenges of the sector to their advantage, while providing them with a clear route to growth. The School of Agriculture and Food Science has established prizes with the support of industry for several years, which recognise the efforts of our students in their acquisition of professional work experience in support of their undergraduate education. And the two recipients of this award are Dara Brady and Megan Sheedy. The next award is the KEPAC PWE Excellence Award and again there are two monetary awards available. KEPAC Group wish to sponsor two professional work experience awards in memory of their late colleague Jim O'Neill. Jim first started working in KEPAC at the age of 15 during his school holidays and on leaving school he joined the company's IT department and over the course of the next 17 years he progressed to become the head of IT. And the two recipients of these awards are Maeve Cuff and Breed Gary. And finally, we have PWE Excellence Awards to recognise eight outstanding students with a Certificate of Excellence for Professional Work Experience. And the recipients of this award are Emily Canny, Stuart Gordon, Kieran Hoey, Etna Murray, Shiva Dooley, Sarah Burke, Kira McQuillan, and Rory Smith. And that concludes the Professional Work Experience Awards. Sinead, great job and very many congratulations to all those PWE uh, award recipients. The last section of our uh, presentation this evening is uh, a guest speaker. Uh, each year we invite one of our alumni to come and uh, address the, the new recipients and their friends and family. Uh, our alumni are always distinguished, they always have an interesting life journey and they always have a message. 
This evening, Mike Brady, the Managing Director of Brady Group Agricultural Consultants and Land Agents, is going to talk to you. Mike is a well-established agricultural consultant and land agent advising landowners from farm businesses and property across the country. He qualified from UCD in 1987 with a BAGRSC and commenced his career as a dairy husbandry advisor with the then Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries and Food in the United Kingdom. Mike returned to Ireland in 1989 where he's worked as an agricultural consultant in a private firm and then in 1995 he established his own group. He is a career advisor consultant. He's worked in two countries and he's worked in both the public and the private sectors. Mike is going to tell you about his journey this evening and uh, a few stories I'm sure along the way. Mike is also past president of the Agricultural Consultants Association of Ireland and uh, we see him regularly on social media and in print media giving us his views and his experiences. So Mike, thank you very much for your presentation and we look forward to your words of wisdom. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike Brady and for the next 10 minutes or so I'm going to give you an idea, an insight into my background of my career, how UCD helped me in that career and finally a few tips for you in your careers into the future. Firstly I'd like to congratulate you all on your awards this evening and also th like to thank the School of Agriculture and Food Science for Im inviting me to give this address. Okay, my career. I qualified with a degree in Ag in 1987 and Ireland was a second world country at that point in time and there weren't many jobs. In fact, the year we came out uh, of college, uh, there was a change of government and the government had taken on the previous year's class, entire class, to do a soil survey and they let off the entire class. So there were two classes looking for jobs in the year we came out and effectively there was a recession and there were no jobs. Um, many people went to America and the UK were the two main places to go to at that point in time and I was lucky enough to get a job with the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries and Food in the United Kingdom uh, effectively their equivalent of Chagask and I was a dairying advisor working in Shropshire in the UK. I worked there for two years, very exciting time and had great times there. Uh, then we, a few of us who were working for ADAS at the time were headhunted by uh, a private consultancy firm in Cork and in 1990 I came back home and worked for five years with that firm uh, and in a change in personal circumstances of the owner of that firm um, caused me to relook at my career in 1995 and I had an option of buying into that business, go work someplace else, continue to work in that business or go out and start my own business. And that was a change that happened in my career and it was uh, probably uh, a crossroads if I look back and I'm honest about it. And we started Brady Group in 1995 and uh, we've never looked, we haven't looked back since. In fact, this year we're celebrating 25 years in business. What do we do in Brady Group? We advise farmers all over the country. Our head office is based in Cork. Um, we, we do on-farm consultancy where effectively we're like a GP to a, to a farmer. Uh, we help them with the financial end, the physical end of their businesses and the human end of their businesses. We also do a lot of expert witness stuff in court where we appear in court as expert witnesses. Uh, we do all the schemes and finally we, we also have an auctioneering business. So how did UCD help me uh, with my career to date? I suppose to start with, um, for most of you the same, it's the first time you leave home and for me it was a big step to go to Dublin in 1987 and you know it helped me to grow up, that would be number one. Uh, number two, what I call the, the three S's, study, sport and socialising. That effectively defined my time in, in UCD, um, not always necessarily in that order um, but I played uh, fresher hurling and fresher soccer for UCD and played Fitzgibbon hurling. So I loved the sporting element of it. Um, 
Eggs, the egg sock, I was involved in egg sock and had all the, the egg balls, etc. And I know you're a bit um, curtailed at the moment with COVID, but the eggs were always top of UCD when it came to, um, to socialising, and I'm sure that's still the same today. Uh, so it gave me a great balance, and, and that, that, that's been a reflection of my life today. I still use the contacts in UCD. Uh, uh, John O'Doherty, Tom McCabe, Monica Gorman were all in my class in UCD. Um, I've used Karina Pierce in the past quite a bit. Um, so from a contact point of view, UCD is always just a phone call away. Um, the Ag Science Association, my first taste of meeting contacts in the industry was through the Ag Science Association uh, and I'm still a, 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 an active member today. One of my staff members, Neve Brennan, is under a sponsored um, master's program uh, through UCD. Um, so that's helping our business today, bring more knowledge to our business. The main thing UCD has done for me is a sense of pride. I'm proud to have um, graduated out of UCD. It's one of the top universities in the world and I understand at the moment that the faculty, um, the Ag faculty is, is the top faculty in, in the college on a world ranking. So a sense of pride is, is a, it, we're all proud to be Ags. So finally, what advice or tips can I give you uh, for your future careers? You're all sitting down there studying, socialising and participating in sport in UCD. You're going to step out into the big bad world. Um, what advice can I give you? I suppose the very first thing I would say is don't worry if you don't know what you want to do at this point in time. Um, I'm a bit unusual I suppose enough. When I was in UCD I knew exactly I wanted to be an agricultural advisor in some shape or form. Um, but if you don't know, that's okay. Get out there, get on the ladder. Get some experience under your belt. It's important to know that 80% of what you learn in your career, you learn on the job. It's not what you learn in college, that gives you the grounding. All careers, you learn 80% of what you know on the job. The second thing, a lot of you might be worrying about COVID-19. I would say look at COVID as an opportunity not as a hindrance to your careers. You're in the enviable position in that you're flexible with your careers. Um, you've, you have no protocol to follow. All businesses will find it hard to, to change, uh, whereas you are entirely flexible. You're starting out in your careers, you can do things differently, and you, you know social media, you know the way people think nowadays. So, what I would say about COVID, it's a bit like me coming out in the 80s when there were no jobs. That was a worry, but it was also an opportunity. COVID is going to be the same. COVID will provide new opportunities that weren't there before. And this could be an advantage for you to get a step ahead quickly in your careers. The next piece of advice I would give you is that if opportunities arise, when you come to that crossroads in your career, and it'll, it'll come when you least expect it, get some advice make a call and be brave. Go for it. That's how people get on in life. Don't have any regrets, go for it. You can always change and revert and go back again. Don't be afraid of change is what I would say. Embrace change. That's what makes life exciting. Um, that's, that's what will take you to parts of your career that you probably would never have planned in the first place. And finally, I would say, remember, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Thank you for your time. Okay, great presentation, Mike, and really very grateful to you for uh, your words of wisdom and for putting that together for us this evening. I think you'll all agree that Mike is a lifelong learner and he's somebody who rises to the challenges and indeed uh, the need to continue learning and to deal with the challenges as they present themselves and have such a positive outlook is something that we can learn from Mike uh, with, with, with real gusto. So Mike, thank you once again for your presentation. Um, that's the end of our ceremony for this evening. Uh, could I ask you to uh, please um, in some way celebrate the evening, uh, make the most of the achievements of our best graduates, um, if you're in the same room as them, uh, slap them on the back or shake them on the hand from me. If you're distant from them, uh, give them a call, send them a text, use your social media, stay in contact and celebrate their achievements. 
Uh, I'm going to end the evening by uh, wishing you um, a good time and please stay in touch with us here in UCD. My best wishes.